Welcome back, my friends, to The Morning Mindset. It is time for you and for me to get our minds aligned with the truth of God. And if you are new to The Morning Mindset, welcome. I am thankful you are here. The Morning Mindset is a listener-supported ministry, which means partners like you come alongside us and help support it financially. We have 27 partners at this point. We would love to add more and love to offer you the thank you gifts that we provide as part of being a partner for The Morning Mindset. That includes a Facebook group. That includes some free eBooks. That includes discounts on paid events that we have in the future. You can go to carrygreen.com, C-A-R-E-Y, green like the color.com, and see more about how to subscribe to The Morning Mindset on your podcast player and how to become a partner. I would love to have you join us. We have been talking about this 4F progression. That's what my wife and I are referring to it as. It's a progression that we go through in life seemingly repeatedly, which is is a sad fact. And it's a progression where we get stuck in our feelings, which is the first F of the four Fs. And we see this all throughout Scripture. I felt kind of bad after yesterday's episode because I kind of laid out the problem and I didn't give any kind of solution. But on the other hand, it's kind of good for us to sit in the problem for a while, for us to notice that there are places in life where we get stuck in our feelings. And Matthew 6 is the passage we've been looking at where Jesus talks about being anxious and the fact that we should not be anxious as believers in Jesus Christ. So what happens? We get stuck in our feelings as a response to circumstances or our thoughts about circumstances. You know, that's where worry comes from is when we are either looking at a circumstance or what could happen, you know, something that hasn't happened at all. And we become concerned. We become worried. And Jesus says the beginning step in overcoming those feelings is to look at the facts. That's the second F in the four F progression. Now, by facts, we mean truth. We mean God's truth. The things that he says are true in the circumstance. Now, we can see this in Matthew chapter 6 in six different verses. Verse number 25, he says, is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? So he's pointing out a fact about the things we are feeling. And he's saying, you are concerned about what you'll eat and what you'll drink and what you'll wear. And he's saying, isn't life about more than that? So he's trying to reorient our perspective in the circumstance on what is true. Verse number 26, he says, look at the birds of the air. Your heavenly father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? You see, he's drawing us back to the truth about God. Verse 27 he says, which of you by being anxious can add even a moment to the span of his life? You see, he's pointing us back to the truth that anxiousness, anxiety is foolish. There's really no benefit to it. Then in verse 28, he says, consider the lilies of the field. If God so clothes the grass of the field, will he not much more clothe you? You see, he's going back to the facts behind our trust in God. And he's pointing out that we really do not have anything to be anxious about because God is behind the scenes caring for all of that. Verse 32, he says, your heavenly father knows that you need all of these. Another fact for us to set our sights on when the feelings are rising up. And then finally, in verse 33, he says, all of these things will be added to you. You see, he's pointing to facts. So let's walk through the first two F's in the progression that we experience. The first is feelings, which is a natural human reaction, but it's what gets us stuck most of the time when we are not trusting God as we should. And then the second F is where we need to intentionally go. We need to set our eyes on the facts, on the truth of God, as we begin considering the circumstance that we're in. It doesn't matter if it's an unemployment situation or a health crisis or some sort of danger that seems to be looming on the horizon. Even if those things are all true and they're real situations in our lives, there are facts behind them related to our relationship with the Father that can bring us great comfort. And it's our responsibility to set our eyes on those. Join me tomorrow for our next step 